So today we're gonna to get up close and personal. One of the things we do as a health department is educate our district so that they can make informed decisions. And in today's instance, we're educating on puberty. I'm going to be as clinical and concise as possible for all our sakes. So without further ado, here we go. Did you know there were different kinds of puberty? So what are normal puberty, precocious puberty, and delayed puberty? Normal puberty is defined as the time in one's life when sexual maturity takes place. The physical changes that mark puberty typically begin in girls between ages 8 and 13, and in boys between ages 9 and 14. Precocious puberty is a condition that occurs when sexual maturity begins earlier than normal. Precocious, meaning prematurely developed, puberty begins before age 8 for girls and before age 9 for boys. Children affected by precocious puberty may experience problems such as failure to reach their full height because their growth halts too soon, and or psychological and social problems such as anxiety over being different from their peers. However, many children do not experience major psychological or social problems, particularly when the onset of puberty is only slightly early. Delayed puberty is the term for a condition in which the body's timing for sexual maturity is later than the normal range of ages. Many children with delayed puberty will eventually go through an otherwise normal puberty just at a later age. Other children have a long-lasting condition known as hypogonadism, in which the testes in men and the ovaries in women produce few or no hormones at all. Puberty is the body's natural process of sexual maturation. Puberty's triggers lies in the small part of the brain called the hypothalamus, a gland that secretes the GnRH hormone. This stimulates the pituitary gland, a pea-sized organ connected to the bottom of the hypothalamus to emit two hormones. These two hormones signal the sex organs, ovaries, and testes to begin releasing the appropriate sex hormones, including estrogen and testosterone, which launch the other signs of puberty in the body. The teenage years will see the greatest amount of growth in height and weight. Adolescence is a time for growth spurts and puberty changes. A teenager may grow several inches in several months, followed by a period of very slow growth. Changes with puberty may happen slowly, or several changes may occur at the same time. It's important to remember that these changes will happen differently for each person. Each child goes through puberty at their own pace. So what's happening during puberty? There are both sexual and physical changes that happen during puberty resulting from hormone changes. In boys, it's hard to know exactly when puberty is coming. There are changes that happen, but they occur slowly over a period of time rather than as a single event. There are certain stages of development that boys go through when developing secondary sex characteristics. Here's a brief overview of the changes that happen. First, the sex organs will grow, as well as hair around the genitals, underarms, and face. Body size will increase. Sometimes the feet, arms, legs, and hands will grow faster than the rest of the body. Some boys may get some swelling around the breast area. This is a result of hormonal changes that are happening. This is common among teenage boys and is often a short-term or temporary condition. Your voice will get deeper and may crack on occasion. Fear not, this is all temporary. Teen boys may begin to have erections. This is when the penis is filled with blood, becomes hard and erect, hence the name. This is due to hormonal changes and may happen when a boy fantasizes about sexual things, or it may happen for no reason at all. Again, this is normal. Boys will also start making semen during this time, which means you can now get someone pregnant. Now for girls, the stages of puberty start around the age of eight. This may sound young, but we're seeing the physical changes of puberty start younger with girls. This is around the time you'll see girls being taller than boys. The first sign of puberty for girls is breast development. This is known as breast budding. You can expect several changes throughout the ages of 8 to 16, and these include hair growth on different body parts. You'll start to notice more sweat, so don't forget you're a teen. You should take showers daily and routinely use deodorant. Girls tend to have an increase in body fat mass as they go through adolescence, whereas boys tend to have an increase of muscle mass. Lastly, girls will experience the onset of menstrual periods. Periods can be light, 
heavy or sometimes skip months in between cycles in the first one or two years after starting. And these can all be normal changes. If bleeding becomes too heavy where they're soaking through clothing or bed sheets at night, or if they're missing school or activities because period flow or pain, they should see their doctor. Two Rivers Public Health Department wants those in our district to be educated on what is happening with their bodies because correct health education during puberty is essential to maintain and improve an individual's physical, emotional, and mental health. Knowing what's happening is half the battle. Puberty is a sensitive yet critical stage in human life. As numerous health habits and behaviors are created during adolescence, it's important you know what is going on and that it is completely normal.